Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Deck. In this episode of Tech Tips, I'm going to be continuing the One Note Snippet series and discussing audio and video uh, recording embedding within One Note. There's a great tool that lets you record either uh, audio or visual uh, snippets and embed those directly into your One Note notebooks. Uh, this works great if you're working on a project or you're driving and have a thought to come to your mind. You can't type, but you want to preserve that thought so you can go back to it later. Uh, so without further delay, let's get to it. All right, so we're in our tried and true uh, section group for this uh, one note snippet series. Uh, continuing along what we've learned in the last couple of episodes, uh, we'll be going over audio and video recording. Uh, if you go to the insert tab, you will automatically already see those two uh, tools to let you record video or record audio. Now, uh, as you can see, I have the, a new note made on my phone that all I've done is open the note up. Uh, I haven't actually done anything. But on the computer, you can record audio. And when the moment you hit the record audio, it starts recording. You can see it right there. Uh, and you can see the time of how long it's been recording. And also you can see at the top of your OneNote, it'll say recording, uh, as long as you're recording. And you can pause it, it'll stop, it won't say recording anymore. And you can unpause it and continue recording and have one seamless uh, audio that you could have done over a period of time. So it's a pretty cool tool. There's not a lot to it other than uh, just a way to get notes hands-free but it works just as well from the phone as it does on a computer so on your phone you would just click on it and you can easily do by hitting your the little triple vertical menu you can easily uh, choose to hit audio and that will spawn the exact same tools that you see on the computer uh, you don't really have the pause tools or anything like that and you have a three minute limit on how long you can record, but for short notes while you're driving or working on a project, it is very useful and you can do numerous notes in the same uh, page to do if you need longer time limits. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that and uh, depending on how fast my internet goes, you'll see that pop up here. Uh, so it's, it's a very powerful tool um, that lets you record audio. I primarily use it for audio, but it works for video too. Uh, it doesn't really work for video while I'm recording. Uh, it doesn't. The webcam doesn't like being used twice, and it will occasionally uh, cause uh, it to crash uh, and stop recording. So I didn't try out uh, or showcase the video, but it works in the exact same way, uh, except for it's video instead of audio. Um, so it's a great tool, uh, very simple to use, and very simple to showcase. So it's not really a long video. And there you can see that the audio recording I made on my phone has now sh uh, shown up. You can see it kind of has a little different icon. But just the same, uh, it is still a playable audio clip uh, that has been recorded. Uh, now, once it's actually made in the Windows Desktop app, you'll see that the audio and video playback tools will appear, while this will want to open in a outside media player. So there is a little bit of difference. But if all your goal is to get some audio recordings while your hands are busy, while you're working on a project or something, then it works great for that matter. So if you found this video useful uh, or informative and you would like to uh, help me out, make sure you like the video. Uh, that does help the video in general and my channel as a whole, and I greatly appreciate uh, you liking the video. In addition, make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all the great videos uh, that I'll be releasing from 3D printing to electronics to just general tech tips like this OneNote snippet series. Thanks for watching.